Ball Carrier are reporting that former All Blacks coach Ian Foster has had more to say about their loss to South Africa at the 2023 Rugby World Cup final. In quotes, it's stating, The time that the final took is unacceptable. We can't allow players to get to the point that they feel they can slow the game down deliberately. It was happening too much at the World Cup. At, with specific reference to the World Cup final. He's also made himself very clear in a post-match press conference with the ABs, when the ABs won a hard-fought game versus the Wallabies back in 2022 after a time-wasting call was made on Bernard Foley. All Blacks subsequently won the game because of this call. He was quoted saying, If there's a move by World Rugby to speed up the game and have less time-wasting, well, we are behind that 100% because that's what we want. Before we get into this, I would love if you hit that like, subscribe, notifications button, come back for more. It helps the channel grow. It helps you get what you want to see because I'm here for all the rugby news. Kick on rugby channel. I'm your host, Dane Sherrett. Hit that like, subscribe, and let's get into it. So there's a few things about this that I don't agree on here. Rugby is a sport for all shapes and sizes. We all know that. It can be won in many different ways as well. Simply score more points than the other team. So when I say that, I mean teams play the game in different styles. Styles of attack, styles of defense, styles that suit them. That suit the cattle they have, the players they have, and suit the coaches they have. The, what the coaches want to implement on the game how their players can play it to the best of their ability, that's how they're going to play it, and that's how they're going to want to win the game. Springboks are known for their physical dominance, uh, break you down, love set piece, love the scrum, love lineouts, very intricate parts of the game, very important parts of the game. Um, strong kicking game, uh, they've been known to be very physical in defense as well. Rush defense, Felix Jones has brought in a massive part of that or started that off. As you can see with England, he's doing the same. Um, and South Africa have brought their own style of attack as well. All Blacks, on the other hand, love fast play, very skillful, physical presence, but would rather run around you than through you. Yes, some of their players through you, but they were the first, but bring in the footwork for forwards before contact instead of, like South Africans, run straight over you. All Blacks would use footwork before contact. Island, tactical smart, clever. It's like they're playing chess on the field. These are all just three examples, three of the main top teams in rugby at the moment, three different styles of play suited to each team. Some teams like wanted to be faster, others wanted to be slowed down. These are all different ways to play the same sport. As long as both are within the rules, I don't think anyone gets to play God. Yes, Springboks might have slowed the game down uh, during that World Cup, but you know what also slowed the game down during the World Cup? The TMO having to review instances where All Blacks got yellow carded. So there is that. World Rugby has brought in a few things to fast on or to speed up the game. Um, you look at the shot clock for kickers, which has been a very... Massive talking point, Owen Farrell being the first person to be ruled out of a kick because of the shot clock. Um, and that puts pressure on the kickers, which, fair enough, some kickers did in back in the day, used to take very, very long to kick their kicks. Um, there's time-wasting penalties around getting ready or getting set for set pieces. Lineouts, I get. Some lineouts take ages. The scrums being a big, the biggest one. I think, yes, we have gone to a point now where the scrums are as fast as they can be or as sped up as they can be. If you speed up the scrum any more than it is already sped up, sped up, if that's a word, there will be injuries. If you think it's 900 kilos versus 900 kilos in just one of the most brutal moments of every game, every moment in that scrum. Some 
teams are a lot more dominant in the scrum than others. That could be, yes, yeah, Springboks love the scrum. But if they're playing against Ireland, Ireland love to attack. So Ireland would want to be attacking more and try not to have any handling errors because they know they'll have to go to a scrum. This is like trying to say we can do one thing, but we can't do the other. So it becomes a very, there's a very murky, murky line there. And this is all around time wasting because these are the biggest things that waste your time. And scrum, I would reckon, is probably up there with that. Yes, walking back to take a kickoff or walking to the line out. But that's why the refs are there. They are there to blow that, to, to call that up, to speak to the captains. If that's a problem, they'll, um, they'll announce that to the captain. The captain has to speed it up or tell that to his troops and they can move on. But to come out after a year, I hope because it was only reported on a, a few hours ago, to come out almost a year later to say that, that the time that the final took is unacceptable. And if we get to a point where they, their players feel like they can deliberately slow the game down. I almost feel like this is a ploy to get more eyeballs on his latest gig, which is with Toyota Verblitz. They've come out this week and, have, and announced a massive signing in Joey, Joey Manu. He, Ian Foster has signed as well for next year, linking up with Steve Hansen again. It could be that. He could be playing chess on us. But to come out and say that players are doing it deliberately... I think players have been doing this deliberately forever. All Blacks players included. So to point at out at the Springboks in a final that you've also lost, it just, just sour grapes. A little bit of sour grapes doesn't look good on you. If it is to bring eyeballs on you and your club that you've just signed with, good on you. You've done that really well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye.